Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Doctor Who 2019 B&M exclusive review. In today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the newly released The Sontarans Collector set featuring Harry Sullivan, Phil Major Steyer and Commander Lynx. This is one of the most highly sought after free packs from the brand new Doctor Who toy line, seeing as it actually has our first ever Harry Sullivan action figure and that we also get re-releases of some of the most sought after classic series Sontaran figures. As always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging and then we'll take an extremely detailed look at each of the figures themselves. Starting off with the packaging, as you can see, it is exactly the same as all the previous Doctor Who free packs that we've got as part of 2019. You've got the brand new Doctor Who logo in the left hand corner and it also states all of the figures that are included in this set. We also have a cool image of the new series TARDIS as well as a new addition to these packs, the limited edition sticker. It does state that this is the 5.5 inch collector's scale line and on the side of the packaging we also have another cool image of the TARDIS as well as the brand new Doctor Who logo and on the back of the packaging we actually have some really cool product images and it once again states for each of the characters named. It would have perhaps been nice to have the names underneath the figures but those Doctor Who fans that aren't perhaps so familiar with the classic series they may have some difficulties in differentiating style from Lynx however nevertheless for classic Who fans it is obvious enough. Turning to the other side of the packaging, we once again have some more product images of all of the figures and I've got to say that this set of figures was definitely the set that I was most anticipating when they were revealed by Character Options last month. And here we have all of the figures out of their packaging and I've got to say each and every one of these figures looks absolutely incredible. I'm so glad to finally have some more classic series Sontarans as originally both of these Sontaran figures were packaged with the rather large Sontaran scout ships and the Doctors which were quite pricey if you were to army build and the actual Sontaran pods themselves were actually quite large and bulky so it wasn't really sustainable to buy loads of those sets. Taking a look at Field Major Steyer first, this figure for me is actually a brand new release as I never managed to pick up the original Sontaran Steyer or the Sontaran Experiment set that came with the pod and the fourth Doctor figure and I've got to say that this particular figure is absolutely incredible, it is just as good as Lynx. The head sculpt on this is absolutely magnificent. As you can see, it really does look very, very faithful to what we see in the Sontaran Experiment story head sculpt on these figures are absolutely incredible. You can even make out the veins on the side where the temple section of the Sontaran's head would be. We've got some nice detailing such as wrinkled and creased effects for the forehead. You can kind of make out where the Sontaran would be frowning. The paint apps have been applied incredibly well as well. As you can see on the back, we've got the probic vent, which has been sculpted and painted really nicely as well. And I've got to say that the overall kind of sweatsuit that these figures come in is absolutely incredible. The detail is really, really well done for character options and there are no paint bleeds whatsoever. We've even got his kind of communication device which has been painted really nicely and has some different paint applications to bring out some of the different details. This particular Sontaran actually does include his blaster as well as his helmet. I'll show them in some closer detail in just a bit. But moving down to the foot sections of the Sontarans, I really like the kind of armoured plating that he has got going on for the feet. It really kind of reminds me of knight armour, knight shin armour, and it does look great. And you can see where it would close in at the back. So it really, really does look very, very impressive. A really remarkable looking Sontaran figure. Turning now for articulation, this is also a really surprising factor of these Sontaran figures as due to their rather bulky stature you perhaps imagine them not to be that articulated but they actually have more articulation than some of the standard 5 inch figures. There is a swivel joint at the head. This is not a necessity as the Sontarans never actually moved their heads in the series but it is still nice nonetheless. There's a swivel joint at the shoulders so you can move the arms up and down. And there is also a swivel joint just above the elbow section, however it is slightly restricted due to the larger section of the Sontaran's chest. There is a 90 degree bend at the elbow and the shoulder armour is also kind of on a hinge so it will move with the shoulder which is great to see. And there is a full 360 degree rotation at the wrists. One thing to note is that these particular Sontarans do have five fingers as opposed to the three fingered look that is probably more iconic to the Sontaran design. There is also a 360 degree waist rotation joint and the legs can kick forwards that far 
back that far and they can also do the splits to a great degree just like so. There is also a 360 degree rotation at the fire and finally there is a 90 degree bend which also can take the knee armour with it as well. So overall for detail and articulation, Steyr is absolutely incredible. I won't be going over articulation on Lynx as it is exactly the same as it is on Steyr, but a really, really well articulated figure. Taking a closer look at the accessory that Steyr does come with, as you can see, this too has been painted incredibly well, but as you can see, it has been sculpted and detailed really, really nicely. It is quite tricky to actually get into Steyr's hand, however, once you do pry the fingers open, it will stay in there incredibly securely. There's no holster on the leg. I'm not entirely sure if that's accurate to the TV show or not. But nevertheless, it's really great that we actually have his blaster as character didn't have to include it. Of course, he also comes with one more accessory, that being the Sontaran helmet. And this too has been detailed and sculpted incredibly well. You've kind of got the mesh over the eye sections. And there is a small groove at the back which will actually snap into place on the back of the Sontaran. One thing to note is that it is quite difficult to plug the Sontaran helmets on but they do just snap into place. And this is probably a great display option, especially if you are going to army build these sets. This figure really, really does look incredible. So Sontaran Field Major Steyr is definitely a fantastic figure and is one of the highlights for me for this particular set. Next up, we have Commander Lynx. This wasn't a figure that I wasn't necessarily too excited about as I do actually have the original version of Lynx. And I do think that the paint apps on that version are slightly more accurate than this version, but nevertheless, it's still nice to get this figure re-released. And looking slightly different, the Sontarans are all clones in the Doctor Who mythology, so it is great that we can finally army build the Sontarans. And once again, I won't go into too much detail on the boiler suit, as it is very similar to that of Steyr, but the detail is absolutely incredible on this figure. Instead of a gun, Lynx does in fact include his kind of taser wand, and this just insert on one of his legs. As you can see, you've got the holster there, and that has also been detailed incredibly well and is made out of quite a flexible type of rubber. Taking a closer look at Lynx's head sculpt, as you can see, it does look absolutely incredible. Lynx is actually my favourite design for Sontaran. He was the first Sontaran and in my opinion had the best makeup out of them all. No Sontaran design has beat him as of yet. As you can see, he's got his communicator device which is very similar to that of Styers. And I really like the armour plating on this figure. As you can see, he does have the three fingers as opposed to Steyr who has the five. This is actually more traditional for Sontarans, so it's fantastic to see. And he also has the probic vent. Of course, the helmet can be inserted onto the head. This is a different design of helmet and has a groove at the front as opposed to at the back. And this just snaps into place on the Sontaran's head. It is fairly difficult to get it on there below. You've got to ensure that all these grooves are kind of tucked under due to the rubbery nature of the neck piece can be slightly difficult to get it on but once it's on it does hold in there incredibly securely and as you can see that is a great look for Lynx and is a really really great Sontaran addition to the collection a fantastic figure to go along with your third Doctor collection now turning to the third and final figure of the set and what is sure to be the reason why the majority of collectors are going hunting and going absolutely mad for this set is the fact that we finally have an action figure of the fourth Doctor's companion, Harry Sullivan. Now this was a figure that I never, ever thought that we would get in the 5.5 inch collector range. You know, the B&M sets were never ever supposed to give us brand new sculpts and I'm so glad that this has kind of changed and that we finally have a way to get Harry Sullivan into the collection. It really does open up the doors for potential figures. I would love a Sarah Jane from season 12, that would be fantastic. But getting back to Harry, as you can see, he does have a completely brand new head sculpt. I think that there is some resemblance to Harry. However, I don't think that it's perhaps the sharpest of sculpts, but I guess that this is an official Harry Sullivan figure. So despite the likeness, this is what character have produced. Now this actually has the clothing of the fourth Doctor that came with Steyr in the original Sontaran experiment set. Maybe there's some remolding or some uses of other figures. I think that the shirt is actually from another figure. But he's supposed to give you the illusion that he's wearing his duffel coat over the kind of blue suited attire that Harry was seen wearing. And it does work reasonably well. At first I did think that it looked rather large on him. However, having the figure in hand, it definitely does look a lot better in person. Giving you a closer look at that Ian Marta head sculpt. As you can see, it really 
does look pretty decent. And as I stated, I was so surprised to see a brand new head sculpt on these figures. Now there is one quality control issue that I do actually have with this figure and it is the fact that he actually has two left feet, which is quite annoying, as you can see. You know, I do think that these sets are going to fly off the shelf, so for me to get another one of these, I'm probably going to have to wait a few months or perhaps a few weeks for the kind of hype to die down slightly before I can go and exchange it. I did actually contact character options themselves and they were unable to provide me with a replacement or repair it as apparently they don't hold stock of their own figures which is quite surprising and they didn't want, seem to want to rectify it for me whatsoever but nevertheless I'm a fan of their action figures and their customer service is less desirable but we do have a really nice Harry Sullivan figure in terms of articulation the head is on a swivel joint so it can look left and right the arms can rotate the full 360 there is a 360 degree rotation just above the elbow the elbow can bend 90 degrees and there is a 360 degree rotation at the wrist there is also a 360 rotation at the waist the legs can kick forwards that far and they can slightly do the splits however of course the duffel coat does hinder this there is a 360 rotation at the fire and then finally the knees can bend at 90 degrees so overall for articulation and detail this is a fantastic figure and is a great entry into the fourth doctor's companions and as i stated i really hope that this does open the doors for potential possibilities such as a season 12 sarah jane smith so there you have it that is my review for the newly released doctor who 2019 bnm exclusives the sontaran collectors figure set once again, this was one of my most anticipated sets for this year's releases for BNM. I'm so thankful that we finally have a Harry Sullivan figure, and it is great that we can begin army building the Sontarans. As I stated, I never got the original Steyr figure, so to have him in the collection is fantastic. Lynx is still a really nice inclusion, however, I do think that the paint apps on the original version are slightly more faithful to the story, but nevertheless, it is still nice to have a classic series Sontaran. And as for Harry Sullivan, great, I really am so surprised that we've even got him in the collection, and I'm so glad that character did find a way to include him in this year's BNM exclusives. I do have one slight problem with it and that is the fact that the quality control on these sets are not great and I did contact character options and they didn't seem to want to help me whatsoever so I really am stuck with a two left legged Harry however once these sets begin to trickle out more I'm sure I'll be able to find a replacement. I hope you enjoyed this review, if you did please let me know down in the comment section below and be sure to let me know your thoughts on this set and what Doctor Who B&M sets you'll be picking up this year. Thanks for watching.